You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. Did you wind up getting any more poetry? Well, it's debatable. I did get something interesting in my mailbox, but I couldn't quite tell if it was a poem or a shopping list. Wow, that's... Well, welcome to Elf Centered, everybody. Welcome back to the North Pole. It's uh, great to have you here once again. My name is Gavin. I'm Beatrice. I'm Gary. And uh, boy, oh boy, it is almost April here. Time flies. Time is flying. And uh, this is pretty much our our last month before the season kicks into gear (sighs) again. Yes. You you guys are already depressed about that. (laughs) Well, yeah, because it's going to get busy again. And I... if you thought it was busy before. I know. Well, I guess it wasn't Well, w- last month or before that. Well, anyway, it's going to get wor- worse than it is today. Exactly. Every year will be busier because there'll be more people on the planet and so more children to be making toys for. Yeah, exactly. Unless just, we get lucky and just make sense. But you know, April around here is spring. <laughs> the plague. <laughs> Why Gary. would you wish for the plague, Gary? <laughs> That gotta, is n- come on now. That is not very Santa-like. Well, we could get to people that don't believe in it. Okay, Gary, we cannot continue this line of conversation anymore. Okay, well, that was maybe a little harsh, but, but sure speaking- would make the line at the North Pole's DMV shorter. That's true. And speaking of it, it's April is spring cleaning, and it's time to uh, clean up around here before the the big toy making season starts. And we want to remind everybody that April 21st is the bulky item pickup. So if you have any bulky items around your uh, mushroom hut that you want to get rid of, uh, that is the time to leave it by the curb. Yeah, I have a few things, that's for sure. An old couch. Boy, that thing stinks. Well, Gary, I think we all know why my couch stinks. I'm not saying we shouldn't. I, what I'm saying is it stinks. I don't know how. Maybe it did happen with me when I came over there, but it still stinks. I think we know that it did happen when you came over there because you had just been in the reindeer quarters. Right. And you came over and you rolled around on the couch reenacting something you and the reindeers had well, done. Well, you got me excited to tell the story. And that's how I had it. I get fully involved with the story. And, you know, everybody, listeners out there, everybody knows that reindeer is really hard to get out of cloth. If anybody out there has any suggestions for me how I can get rid of the smell of reindeer, please send us an email or a uh, letter here at the radio station and i would be very grateful i'll Look, in return I'll, pay, I'll pay for the product if it requires a product and in return i'll make you some of my famous scotcheroos oh, there you oh go. man i should dirty up a lot more stuff around your place <laughs> did, did someone say scotcheroos what, a, what? Oh my God! Is that? Is that? It's oh Santa Claus. Man. Did you invite? Santa? Santa? I didn't invite him. He's, he's in a. He's in a uh, Come on in, Santa. Come on in. <laughs> Don't mind I, if I do. Oh. Wow. Well, this is totally unexpected. Well, do I just sit here? <laughs> yeah. Well, pull up a. Ch- my gosh, yeah. it's Santa. I don't. <laughs> is it? Look at me. Did you come tricks. by helicopter? Is that I, the sound? I came by helicopter. We are updating our transportation. Uh, just you know, just for spring, and then we're gonna go back to the basics. I think in uh, back in winter, people seem to like that. If it ain't broke, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it's not broke, don't break it. Who are you? Uh, Gary. I'm Gary, sir. I'm Gary. Sir. I'm Gary. That's right. That's right. I'm Gavin. <clears throat> it's, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's such an honor to... to I, wh- we are so shocked that you're even here. <laughs> it's a surprise for me, too. But Mrs. Claus uh, told me about this uh, little setup you have here, and I thought it was it was good for me to... to ch- she had a, a very good time. So she, I thought I would check it out. Well, we had a pleasure having her on the show. This is Beatrice over here. Uh, hello, Santa. Uh, I, I I hope that you enjoyed that latest batch of scotcheroos I sent to you and Mrs. Claus. <laughs> was that you? <laughs> it, it was. It was me. <laughs> Keep them coming. Keep them coming. <laughs> I, I, bet, I bet Mrs. Claus wouldn't want to. Shh, 
Okay. What? No. So, uh, it's lovely to see you. Well, it's lovely to be here. This is the one week. Uh, it's I take a little me time before um, before we do the whole bulk thing. Right before we get back to the the toy making season. Yes, it's it's become a, a year round uh, work season for me. So I have to really set some boundaries and uh, take a little me time. So that's what I'm doing this week. I see. What other things? I mean, we're honored to have you here, but what other things do you do during your week off? I give myself lots of massages. I have the reindeer um, go on their week-long fast uh, to get them in shape. And I do a little, well, this is sounds a little weird perhaps, but I take uh, baths in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the whirlpool. Oh, the old whirlpool out by the uh, back behind the toy workshop? Yeah. That's weird. No, I didn't know that that thing still worked. There's been like like uh, emergency ta- or like uh, caution tape around it. Yeah, I, I put it that like up to a... try to keep the riffraff away. Oh, I thought there had been like a murder or something there because it looked like there was like a lot of. Well, did it say caution or did red... it say elf police? It's oh, I can't even. Remember. I, well, I would imagine it said caution. Don't yeah. believe what they say about the murder. I well. I oh, didn't... it just it never happened. <laughs> 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 Wow. Mm. Uh, well, Santa, this is this is a just a, a pleasure. I mean, we thought we had hit the pinnacle of who we could have on this show by having your wife on last month, but having you here is just, it's unbelievable. Well, it's fun for me, and it's fun for me to get to know you. I feel like I know, what's your name again? Beatrice. Beatrice. Yes. And Gary. Goron? G- G- Gary. Gary and, and Gavin. And Lavin. Gavin. The point is, we need to work together, and I think this year I'm going to really make that a, a, a point. We, we, every year I want to improve by 3%. Oh. More efficiency, more um, you know, inventory, mm. craftsmanship, and, and I think teamwork is the focus this year, and I want to get to know you. And so, Lavin, when I, when I see you with this, this podcast and... And and Beatro and and Goron, I think we have a really good shot at meeting our goals. Well, actually, year. we are we are certainly we are behind you 100. percent I mean, that's why we're here. <laughs> and <laughs> especially with um, you know assignments are coming up next month, so uh, yeah, you know we're 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 really looking forward to see where we'll be working this season. So. Um, you know. Uh, anyway, we don't. We, we don't. Certainly don't want to influence you or anything. But we're very excited to see. Well, I've got a few ideas. I, I work in the mines, uh, sir. And Perfect. How about you, Beatrice? I work in the doll shop specifically with the eyes. I'm on the eyes station. The eyes have it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're funny, Santa. You should do a type You're five. Funny. <laughs> yeah. Do you do stand up? Uh, why do you think I'm I'm Santa? <laughs> I I did try my hand at comedy many years ago. Wow, and, during the 80s, during the big uh, comedy well, boom. the big boom in the 80s, I tried to start, you know, me and Paula Poundstone and Wow. And uh, You know Paula Poundstone? Yes, I do. <laughs> Would you like an introduction? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I love Paula Poundstone. We still keep in touch. Do you know Mitch Hedberg? Anyway, there is uh, uh, a lot to be learned from stand-up comedy. And uh, and many of the, the uh, requests I get every year, Santa, can I be a stand-up comic? And I say, that's not a toy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Do you have that kind of power, though? Or is it just toys? Strictly toys, cars? Just toys and cars and, and uh, figurines and, and certain types of shoes and, and hats and bonnets and, and uh, fake houses, Lincoln logs of that sort. People are still wearing bonnets? I would have thought that that... I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep thinking it's 18, 15, and 16... Sorry, 1816, I forget the year. They all run together, right? Hey, Sam, what's, what seems to be, like, you've got the the eye on the future. What's the new toy going to be this season coming up? 
I know it's a little early to be thinking about it. No, Larry, that's a, that's a good question. I <clears throat> I think that um, every year I think we're going to go back to the basics. Oh. And every year they surprise me. Video games and uh, oh, yeah. dr- drones are the big thing this year. <laughs> So I think uh, I'm hoping they'll go back to the Lincoln Logs and the Legos. Those were easy to carry, but... uh, Cabbage Patch dolls. What? We're not going to talk about those. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Yeah. Right. Have you ever, Santa, have you ever gotten, uh, given a gift? You give so many gifts Mm. every year. Have you ever been putting a gift under a tree and thought, I would really like that. I would really like that for me. The McPhersons in 94, I had just turned onto Pinewood Street, and I uh, went down the chimney, very routine, very typical, and uh, I accidentally, as I was coming out of the chimney, I uh, it fell out of my sack, and it, it, it just kind of, and there was an, a little a fireman's axe, the kind I wanted when I was a kid, and I... I am loath to confess this, but I felt tempted to to steal it for my own. You guys had crafted it so well. You made it in the lab. One of you, maybe uh, some of you, all of you, I don't know. It was before your time, perhaps. But I wanted that axe so bad. And um, that was that was a moral quandary. <laughs> but I ended up leaving it for the McPherson boy and not stealing it for well, myself. Because, Santa, wouldn't that be funny if you were on, you looked at your list, your naughty and nice list, and there was your own name on the naughty <laughs> list? <laughs> Beatrice. <laughs> what? <laughs> How could you suggest such a thing? Because he's... He a, makes the list. He doesn't... But he was talking on. about stealing. I was just making a funny joke about... I'm sorry, Santa. He laughed. I think you didn't mind. I don't know if that was... a. Laugh more of a knee jerk ho 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 reaction. I mean, like you ever laugh when somebody's hey look, you've got you've got food on your face and you go ha, 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 oh whoops but it's not like you really had a great laugh about it and you felt embarrassed about it. You work in the mines? Yes. Sir. Let's keep you there. Oh. The other thing I just want to say is uh, spring bonuses are being uh, oh. the the spring uh, um the bonuses. spring bonuses are being uh, dispersed as we speak, wow. so check your stockings, your <laughs> spring stockings. My spring stocking. Oh. That's the first thing I do every time I get every night when I get home mm. from work. I go check my stocking to see what mails come in. I do the same thing to Mrs. Claude. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so that was check her stocking. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Santa, Santa, <laughs> that's you naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Um, getting back to the list, I wanted to say, um, you know, the list is kept under such tight wraps and such tight security. But one time I did, I, I glanced at it. You know, I was able to see it while it was in transport to the sleigh. And your handwriting is just for for such a rough. I mean, you're a tough guy. You're a big guy, Senna. Your handwriting is so delicate. It's amazing. Well, thank you for noticing uh, penmanship is a <clears throat> manifestation of character, I was told. And I, uh, it takes me, takes me quite a while to write with such clarity and elegance. And I'm glad someone noticed. Maybe I won't keep it under tight scrutiny. I'd like more compliments! <laughs> <laughs> I like your hat. What? Nothing. Uh, well, Santa, I think maybe... With past lists, maybe you can start a museum and just have the lists on display. That's a, that's a good idea. Well, that's I try to think out of the box. And <laughs> maybe forward. I'll put you in charge of it. Hey, well, wow. I, um, I was thinking that I had came up with a new plan for the coal, uh, delivering the coal to to you, so that you can deliver the coal to the children that are on the naughty list. I mean, I worked out uh, a plan for that. If, if you ever wanted to hear about it. He's asleep. Where did you go, he, Gary? Why did you... Maybe... Maybe this is good. Maybe it's because he needed a burden of rest. 
Maybe I should tell more stories like that. I know. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 And, oh. And, oh, I'm and, sorry. <laughs> something me. <laughs> it's vacation week for me. <laughs> you were saying, Beatrice. Uh, is maybe that I we could include Scotcheroos in, in people's stockings. Excellent idea. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I gotta go. Any, uh, let's wrap this up. Oh well, you know, to... Santa, we certainly appreciate you coming by and and taking time of from your me week to come by and, and visit us here. And you, of course, I mean, you know because the North Pole is yours, you're welcome here anytime. So, of course, you can come here anytime. But I'm just extending the welcome to you anytime, of course. It's an honor to be here and to mingle with all the little people. No, no offense. Uh, uh, but I uh, I had a great time. And uh, feel free to, to talk to me anytime or come up to me with any problems you have. Oh, great. Uh, until the end of the week, and then things get busy again, and then we'll, uh, right. we'll, we'll kind of keep things as, as usual, per usual. Got to uh, go through your intermediaries. What? Got to go through your intermediaries. Yes, that's correct, through my intermediaries, the usual. Right. Keep, it, keep the uh, hierarchy as it is. I hate using that word, <laughs> but it's true. Yeah. It's efficient. I'd like okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, Thank you, Santa. Oh, here you oh, go, here you Santa. Go. Oh. <laughs> Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. You okay? <laughs> foot. He stepped on his foot. He, he'll be oh. fine, Santa. Okay? He's, he's okay. Oh, I'm well, fine. I'm he's great. certainly sorry, but <laughs> I thought, thought I stepped on a rock or something. A very solid foot. Okay. Oh. Bye, Santa. Goodbye, Bye, Santa. Santa. Bye. Wow, that oh, was my God. Santa Claus. You got your foot stepped on by Santa Claus. I know, I know. I was here. I know. Well, folks, uh, that brings us pretty much to the end. Before we go, we want to remind you that April 21st is the bulky item pickup. So if you have a couch that smells of reindeer or something other large item, get it out by the curb uh, on April 21st. And uh, we just before we go, we wanted to give you the forecast. Uh, tonight there is continued snow continuing on until tomorrow and then snow for the rest of the week. Uh, my name is Gavin. I'm Beatrice. I'm Gary. How's your foot? Okay. And uh, this is Elf Centered. We'll see you next time. You sure you're all right? Oh, better. If it, that big guy didn't step on my foot. Would a scotch make you feel better, Gary? <laughs> this episode of Elf Centered was a production of Saturday Morning Media and was completely improvised by Jane Entwistle, Chris Sheets, Grandpa Choco, and special guest... Kevin Burnson as Santa Claus. Music by Kevin McLeod. Do you have a question you'd like the Elves of Elf Center to answer? Send them an email at hello at saturdaymorningmedia.com. Be sure to put Elf Centered in the subject line. Visit Elf Centered online at www.elfcenteredshow.com and download exclusive bonus content for this episode on the free Saturday Morning Media app, available for iOS and Android. Visit www.saturdaymorningmedia.com forward slash app for more information. This show, like all Saturday Morning Media shows, are made possible by our fine patrons who've set up a recurring pledge for as little as a dollar a month over at patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media. Huge thanks to Shea Stewart, Mer Lafferty, Jeff Peterson, Dale Gadania, Stephen Staver, Jackie Klimo, Melissa Crawford, Chuck, Matthew Wayne Selznick, Dave Slusher, Mike Coughlin, Dorothy Pachoco, John D., Kathy Crawford, Brian Greer, Carrie Whitney, Chuck Tomasi, Chris Foster, Stephen Ng, Clinton of ComedyForecast.com, Vicky DeVries, Mike Wabshaw, and Twitter user Butson Gear, aka Wildcat. These people have made this show and the other shows from Saturday Morning Media possible. Become a patron for as little as a dollar a month over at www.patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media. That's P A T R E O N.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media. You can also help the show by leaving us a review on iTunes or telling a friend about it. This podcast is copyright 2016 Saturday Morning Media, Grant Bachoco, executive producer. All rights reserved www.saturdaymorningmedia.com You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs>